Hi guys, welcome to this video. It's always great to see more of these um, spin-offs. And um, yes, you read it right, right? We keep rolling, 20, so 2020 in July. I have a new distribution I can test out. So I'm gonna clone, I have to look at the name again because I've downloaded the ISO and it's called Axel. All right, Axel. So Axel is the name. Oops, let's do that again. Axel is the name. Voila. And the download is in download. That's done as well. And we open this and we start this. What will we see? So we got an Arch Linux logo the standard um, menu, group, drop uh, menu, and we have, of course, the name change there. Okay, fine. First line. I remember reading something, I should actually open up Discord because we have on Discord a spin-off channel. So all people who learn with ALCI and learn with Carly, so the ArcLinuxISO.com website and the ALCI.online website, they learn um, how to make a distribution, a spin-off. And I believe there was an explanation on the GitHub what I should do now next. So we got the Calamaris installer, launch D menu and run Cal install. You should know to run Cal install. So we have here all the workspaces. You're wondering probably what is this kind of thing? It looks nice, but what is it, right? Control T maybe, super T maybe, a super enter maybe, a, I don't know, super shift T. Well, some kind of keyboard shortcut, shortcut has to be there so that we can actually um, open. Ah, something happened indeed. So let's try that again, super T. No, uh, super enter, that's it. So super enter is actually going to open a terminal, but only on workspace one. So it's defined already, it's blocked already. If you open the terminal, then you go to there. Okay, and then cal install, that's what we need to remember. Calamaris, right, it's, it's um, available, it's there. Cal install, enter, and let's go. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna kill this one. Hopefully it's super Q, and that's not Q. Super Q, super shift Q, it's not it either. Then we do just exit, voila. <laughs> and we are on Calamars. Which version are we on? We are on 23.2.44.3, very, 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 very last one, okay. Location, keyboard, partition, user, summary, install, finish. Okay, now we go, next. Russell's standard way of installing everything. Calamaris is there. I have my Azerti that I need to check. Erase the disk, swap to file, why not? And maybe X BitRS. Next. We select login automatically without asking, but then I don't see what's in there. How will I be greeted? Will it be SDM, LightDM, LXDM, GDM, right? So I want to see, otherwise I would, of course, log in automatically because that's my workflow. And then it's off and away. Welcome to Axel OS. All right. In the meantime, I can show you this, guys. So github.com, Axel OS, a release, and I was reading this here. So Calamar is installer, call install fine, has a modified grub theme, so we'll have to look later on. This was still the Arch Linux grub. Qtile window manager is now included, but the default window manager is DWM. So Qtile serves as a kind of uh, backup, a fall and, and, and fallback, right? D menu is there with what keyboard shortcut? Um, I don't know, right? I still need to figure that out and that's after installation. Eh? That's fun. We're a noob again. <laughs> Terminal emulators are Lacriti, shell environment is fish, tunar, 
ArcDark, Papyrus Icon, and LXDM. So not GDM or SDM. And there is a splash screen Plymouth later on. Not at boot time, but maybe later on. Report any issues here. One level up maybe. So we have all kinds of repositories. Oh, it's from the Philippines, nice to know. Philippines, a minimal Arch Linux based GNU Linux distribution. And um, there's a link here as well. And the mail here as well. So the ISO, DWM, the repo, the Qtile, package builds, and the skeleton. And you can have a look. Updated four hours ago, three hours ago. Scripts are there. DWM blocks is here. Qtile fonts view all repositories. Scroll down. Here we have the LXDM theme. Voila, default theme. Background GPG, gonna be this. Uh, ah, yeah. Some colors at the top here. It's dark, but there is here some coloring at the top. And the CSS is there. The quit icons. And so on, and so on. What interests us, of course, as well, since Qtile is actually more kind of a backup, is the um, itself. So the DWM configuration is here. Configs, how to start, PyCam wallpaper, and a binary. Extra stuff in here. And everyone, and that's great, right? And that's Linux, that's the superpower of Linux. Anyone can do anything with it, right? It's just choices, preferences, knowledge, perseverance, intelligence, and then you got your own system. And then here you have the choice, right? The beautiful background and Excel, advanced options, reboot computer, shutdown computer. Okay, let's log in. And that little thing there was Plymouth. And this is our login or the back screen, back uh, background thing. Default, DLM, Qtile, Qtile with Wayland as well. Don't use Wayland on VirtualBox. For now, we're talking October 2021. Don't. And then defaults. Okay, Eric is going to log in. Voila. We're in. Device mounted, he says. Uh, it's probably my ISO that's in there. Yeah. Okay. Can I click here something? Something happens. Some you have to click this with left and with right. There is possibility to actually tell to change um well to, to add an action to a right click or a left click or anything like that. So we've learned already that super enter was alacrity, we hope, right? Neo fetch. We are on DWM, check. We're on bash. And there was some mention about fish. So if I would like to go to fish, you sudo change shell to for Eric and minus s. Was it minus s? Yeah, I think so. And then bin fish, I guess. Let's see. Shell changed. We do super x to log out. <laughs> How do I log out on this system? That's something we need to figure out, right? How to get out of here. Here is Firefox. I need to figure out D menu. Uh, Thunar might be interesting as well. In our case, it's super shift enter. So super A T E R T Y U I O P M L K J H G. <laughs> Alpha, I'm going through the alphabet. I found something, right? Super. That's it. Whoa. Again. Which button is it now? It's super D. Okay. Super D found it. Thunar. Voila. I've got myself a Thunar. And inside control h configuration here is fish genie is here and is here prox qtile is here um, the question is of course where are the files of dwm not sure if they are here so there must be somewhere else 
here's a dot DWM. Um, mm, 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 mm. There's an auto start here. Do we have an application? NeoVim, yeah, NeoVim is not my preference, but there is Genie. We open it with Genie, if available, and maybe, right? Maybe, <laughs> there you go. Maybe it's compulsory, right? It tells, DWM says, if you open Genie, it's gonna be in the fourth one. If you open Terminal, it's gonna be here. If you can open Thunar, it's gonna be here. If you're gonna be a browser, it's gonna be here. So Super D, Firefox, yep, it's available. It's gonna open in here and not anywhere else. This is video, so probably VLC and music and stuff like that. So it's, for me, still a lot of learning, right? Where are my settings now? And for everybody, it's gonna be tricky to find out what to do but this looks great this looks great and it's dwm i kind of love dwm it's stable alc alci dot online huh, is dwm has been for months and months don't doesn't need an update it just works so we probably can continue much more but um we need to learn more uh, visit the github maybe have and, and read and ask the person in question is on the discord channel alci spin-offs so you can ask him there if you are stuck with um, well if you want to know some what to do what to change how to change this how to change that where all the things are so we should be able that that's something we could check um, I want to log out. I still don't know how to log out. That's true. Thunar. So I have my D menu. So Super D is D menu now. Log out of my system. I don't know. Log out, log in, log save. Super X maybe. Super Shift X. So the Super Shift combo. I'm testing that out. That did something. <laughs> I found something. Super Shift F. Super Shift F is a Thunar. Super Q would be nice to kill something. Super Q, no. Super A, no. Super X, no. Super Shift X, Control Shift X, Control Alt X. That's something. So killing something is. is um, I'm looking for that. So close window, that works of course, close window. Kind of long. Super escape, is that working? No, not X kill. F12, not working. F11, 12, 10, 9. Ooh, that's a new one. So that's uh, F9 is just the bookmarks that goes open. And then, voila, F1. That's the last one I pressed, all the other F1s, F functions. Are empty. But somewhere we need to figure out somehow how to log out and then where's my DWM so I can read the keyboard shortcuts. This is just guessing, right? But uh, it's not tiling because I've pressed some buttons here. If you were wondering, I pressed here some buttons. So is this maybe another button? No. Nope. Another button, no. <laughs> well, let's not make the video longer than it needs to be, right? Um, gonna be silly. But there's a new release, so version 1.0 release, Excel, and it's a DWM. And if you're into that, well, voila, there you go. Cheers.